Hey guys, it's me, Matt Crone. Welcome to the Adobe Stock Experience with me, Matt Crump. This is the first of three videos in which I'll be showing you how to take uh, uh, photos from the Adobe Stock Library and turn them into magic. Today we're going to make this. The first thing you want to do is open a new file in Photoshop and in the Adobe Stock Libraries window, search for what you want to search for. I'm going to search for colorful Venice buildings. And this one looks real good. We're going to use this one. Now that we have the image, we're going to crop it to one by one. Perfect for Instagram. Then I'm going to use the magic wand tool to select the sky. I'm using the polygono lasso tool to deselect any parts of the building that the magic wand picked up. Yeah, that looks really good. Once you've done that, invert the selection and do a selected mask with the quote, new layer and layer mask option selected so it isolates those buildings from the rest of the image. Now using that mask that you've just created, select it and invert it so we only see the sky and add a bluer color to a new layer to create a much more vibrant sky. Now the sky is popping. Now create a selective color adjustment layer to start fine tuning all of those colors so you can get them just right. There's no rules with working with sliders, just slide them every which way, get to know the slider with your heart. Add a curves adjustment and a brightness adjustment layer to brighten up the image a little bit more. Now the water is looking a little bit muddy to me, so I'm going to create another selective color layer with a gradient mask over the water only. Oops. I'm going to start playing with these neutrals in that part of the image to get the colors closer to where I want them. This is really just experimentation. Experiment your heart out. It's still a little bit muddy looking, so I'm going to use a color burn blending mode to really make those colors super contrasty, which is the technical term. Then I will use a brightness layer over the water to brighten it up even more. The sky is starting to look a little dark, so I'm going to select the sky layer and create a new brightness adjustment layer to brighten up that sky. Now I'm going to start fine-tuning those building colors using hue adjustment layers. So what I'll do is use the polygonal lasso selection tool and select the buildings that I want to adjust. It might look like I don't know what I'm doing, because I don't. The best way to learn Photoshop is just to click on all the buttons to see what they do and slide the sliders. If any parts of the building start looking funky, just select those parts and delete it from the adjustment layer mask. Once those buildings are exactly how you want them, you're done. You have a really pretty image now. Congratulations. See you guys tomorrow for the next tutorial.